Hello Virgo, welcome to your February 2019 reading. This is for Sun, Moon and Rising Signs. Let's get started with your Oracle cards. Virgo, from Le Vampire you've pulled the card of Witness. Now this card speaks of knowing, to know, having personal evidence and also about speaking out. But the energy that I pick up around this is really about you having witnessed something and once you know this you can't unknow it even if others deny its existence or don't believe something is real it, so it's something that you have I think in the past you may have thought was only uh, hearsay rumor perhaps even made up but you've changed your mind and it's because of some kind of revelation, something that you've witnessed. But others yet deny, deny this. That, that's what I'm getting. You know, <clears throat> with this it's about the veils of illusion and deceit. We have from the witch's wisdom the card of cloak or concealment. So it is about that veil. But with witness, it's about that veil lifting. Now while this experience can be painful, it's also a great blessing to have this revelation, to know the truth and not doubting this experience. The overall energy that I get from this is know that what you have seen and felt is true even if another may deny that you have witnessed a true thing. Hmm, interesting. Now, as the overall energy from the Osho Zen, you've pulled the card of abundance. Now, this is a, a king of rainbows energy, or king of wands, really, in traditional tarot. With this card, it speaks about mastery of the physical. So... The energy that I'm picking up around this is you'll, you'll see that this gentleman in the in the, the picture, and he is the very picture of a whole man having mastered the physical. He's a, a Buddha-like figure, so there is that wisdom, that understanding, but there's also pleasures. So with this one, it, it's really Zorba, the Buddha, who could drink wine, dance, sing, and at the same, same time, enjoy the depths of understanding and wisdom that belong to the sage. In one hand here, he holds a lotus, showing that he respects and contains within himself mastery of both the feminine and the masculine. He's utterly self-contained. The four elements of earth, fire, water and sky all conjunct at the King of Rainbows who sits atop the book of the wisdom of life. So if you're a woman, the King of Rainbows brings the support of your own male energies into your life, a union. If you're a man here, this card represents a time of breaking through uh, male stereotypes and becoming a master of your wholeness, becoming whole. And as a result, bringing about a sense of abundance. So it's quite a deep kind of energy, but it's as a result of having come to some kind of knowing, deep knowing, having personally witnessed something a piece of the puzzle being exposed so let's see where this goes Virgo it seems to me like something that was hidden to you has been recently revealed and it leads to a, a place of, of mastering mastery of of yourself really I, I feel this is more your energy than someone you're dealing with Virgo so let's see where this goes for your energy I'm using the tarot de la nuit 
For the person that you are thinking about or dealing with here, I'm using the Crystal Visions. I've already meditated on your energy, but uh, let's get some more. Do a couple more shuffles here for this Earth Sign energy for February. And let's focus in on what you've brought to this situation in the past. What has Virgo brought to this situation in the past? Okay. We have the Queen of Cups and the Two of Wands. <clears throat> the Two of Wands in this case speaks about making important choices. It can be a card of indecision, but in this case I pick it up as a decision based around emotion. The Queen of Cups, I don't think this is anyone else, I think this is mainly your energy. The Queen of Cups is how we internalize emotion. In this case, it, it is about nurturing, emotional support, care, caring for yourself. I think it's more about choosing self, almost like self-compassion, self-care. I don't think it's anyone else. I think it's you. This is what you've brought to the situation making an important choice to get that feeling of being emotionally stable let's see how the uh, the other person comes across here what they've brought to the situation in the past we have the knight of swords which speaks about action so I do feel around them there is an energy, there's an action that they've taken that they feel is, is correct, is right. There is an element here of going for it. I feel like what whatever this is that this person has, has, has really gone for it because I, I get the energy that they, it, they believe in it. There's belief behind this action something they believe in let's see where you hope to well let's see your current circumstances let's see where you stand at the present time here with this situation Virgo where does Virgo currently stand with this and you have the knight of swords so okay I do feel like in the past there's been some kind of choice that needed to be made but with the knight of swords it seems like i get an energy of being ready readiness and you both in, both having the knight of swords it's about being ready to take action let's see where the other person currently stands ace of pentacles Okay, with this one it is about uh, being focused on something stable and long term. A foundation for the future, for future prosperity, abundance of course. We have that King of Rainbows energy here, abundance. So this is good. I, I do feel like there is action being taken on this opportunity for abundance but it's it's more than abundance because i do feel like this has potential to for last to last it's not a kind of fly by night flaky kind of energy it's something with real potential to prosper to grow to strengthen and to really be for a long term a long time even Okay, let's see where you hope to stand with this in the future. 
Virgo, we have the Sun. So I do feel like this is this revelation. Seeing the whole picture, and, and once you know this, you can't unknow it. And because it's something that you've personally experienced, even though I get that there may be opposition to this in some form by others who haven't reached the same personal knowing that you have. They haven't either gone through an experience like this or they haven't done the work on themselves. There's something that you know to be true. You're acting on it. You've made the choice. And yet there's some, perhaps some opposition from, from another who feels that I don't know, I get a sense that perhaps they, they view whatever you've experienced as not being true or real. Okay, let's take a look and see where the other person hopes to stand with this. We have the Six of Wands. So this person hopes to uh, triumph, uh, victory, success. Uh, they, they do want to be successful with this new start, this practical new start. Let's see how you're viewing this person, Virgo. How are you viewing this person? We have the Knight of Wands. Okay, so with this one, if there's been any kind of in and out energy or uncertainty, you're viewing them as Making a courageous choice, being brave. It is a card which speaks about taking that, that passionate action. Let's see how this person is viewing you here, Virgo. How is this person viewing Virgo? The Eight of Wands. Okay, so things speeding up. Faster movement. Perhaps things happening quickly. Let's take a look and see what your doubts and fears are. Doubts and fears for Virgo. Maybe that's the problem. Maybe this other person thinks... Or, or, well, it's not... I don't think it's this other person. But there is someone around you who thinks that maybe something's happening too quickly or something like that. <coughs> doubts and fears here for Virgo. Ten of Pentacles. So why are you doubting this, that you can have what what I think is being offered to you with this Ace of Pentacles? I do think that the per person that you're focused on here, Virgo, is offering some kind of potential prosperity. Something that is true. Again, I get that energy of abundance but it, but it's grounded abundance it's 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 grounded in reality in a, something real nothing here that is illusory fake anything like that so why are you doubting that you can have that with the 10 of pentacles why are you doubting that you can have what you what you what this person is offering let's take a look in the doubts and fears for the other person <coughs> Nine of Cups. So they're, they're wishing, they're, they're, they have dreams, goals, but they're doubting that this is going to come true. Interesting energy. Let's take a look at your challenge. What is the challenge for Virgo? We have death, transformation, making changes, outdated beliefs, the way you've thought or gone about things in the past, being left behind. It is powerful personal change and transformation, leaving the old behind so that you can move on with uh, with something that you've gained. I, I believe it's, it's personal knowledge that you've gained. You're acting upon this, but your challenge is to go through this this cycle 
<clears throat> and with the card of witness it did say that it may not be a particularly easy process but nevertheless it's not something that once you know it you, you can't unknow it so you can't go back to the way you were that's what I'm getting around this reading you can't go back to the way you were so you even though the process of change is difficult the, the challenge here is to maintain this process of, of the death cycle here and move through the stages of this personal transformation even though some may be difficult now let's have a look and see what the challenge is for the other person challenge for the person that Virgo is dealing with challenge for the other person what is the challenge challenge for the other person okay they've got the ten of pentacles as their challenge which is interesting you know the main thing I pick up is this other person their, their focus is on this ace offering an opportunity for prosperity something long term stability prosperous they are wanting success victory recognized for their uh, their hard work their their the, the things that they have done here to make things better and I can't help but think though that there is this kind of a niggling kind of doubt that they can achieve this this ten of pentacles this having what they what they would like which is a, a very much an energy of abundance it's having it's actually having more than what you need it's getting to that comfortable place where well it's kind of like retirement isn't it it's like retiring with what you what you need with what you, what you need to survive and actually having even more as as a cushion hmm okay you know I'm getting that the, the challenge for this other person in, in some respects is about <coughs> staying the course I think that there is a dream that they have to to achieve a certain kind of lifestyle they're, they're looking for victory for personal success and this is what their focus is on actually I, I think mainly that's what I'm picking up it could even be an aspect of you Virgo you know if you if you're not focused on another person right now this may both resonate as you and it seems to me like your focus is on more on practical matters and and achieving that that place where you feel comfortable and you're able to sit back and, and, and really enjoy the, uh, the rewards here of hard work. So I, I, see, I see really good energy around this other person. And if I'm speaking to someone here where this is, I'm speaking to a single person, I, I do feel that you have doubts around this. But I also see a lot of drive ambition powerful personal change here and instead of worrying I get instead of worrying about the uh, emotional side of things I think there's a more practical view being taken here yeah I, I do feel that and that would make sense with this card of abundance it seems to me that 
there was a lot of indecision in the past caused by emotions, a, a more watery element, but it seems like there's a change in you. Virgo, I'm getting a change. It's a good change because underneath it is real drive to achieve your goals. This, this powerful personal ending here so that you can achieve real results, real lasting abundance. Let's have a quick peek at your potential outcome here before we go to part two. Lots to clarify in part two, so I hope that you join me there. The link will be below in the descriptions box and that will be on my Vimeo channel. Let's take a quick peek at your outcome here, Virgo. Mm, in, you know, I, I, I do get the sense that this is more about your own personal growth than anyone you happen to be dealing with. And we have the chariot, so this is overcoming obstacles, taking back the reins of your life here. I love it. Let's have a look. <clears throat> what is the outcome for Virgo? What is the outcome for Virgo? This chariot card. We also have the Four of Pentacles, which does speak about uh, focusing on what is stable, secure. Fours are always the most stable energy in the tarot. So uh, it seems to me like there's a lot of stability around you. Whereas in the past, uh, there was a lot of indecision. Caused by, I, I pick it up mainly as a, that watery side of you, that the more emotion based or not feeling like you're in control of your emotions but I see powerful change here and, and a f definitely getting things back under control in that regard and focusing on what's important and, and for you I think it, it's it's your stability both within and, and also regarding a, a work uh, what you do for a living. We also have the Four of Swords. Yeah. So I think it is a card of healing, recovery. So I'm really liking the energy around this here for you, Virgo. I, I do feel <coughs> the energy around you is one of, of needing this change in your life in order to get back the uh, feeling that you're on the right track like you've chosen a direction in the past you any kind of feeling of that flaky energy uh, not being sure of an action hasn't served you well and I get that by taking back control here acting with purpose and being sure of your actions here with that knight of swords in the upright i do feel like this is going to lead you to a place of of healing and overcoming any kind of personal obstacle that you that you may have been struggling with of late virgo again i get this feeling of you becoming a whole wholeness and it's due to knowledge something that you've personally witnessed something that was hidden from you has been revealed that last piece of the puzzle seems to be falling into place and it's leading you to a place of, of this feeling of abundance instead of feeling lack instead there's a feeling of being whole of having again more than what you need achieving that goal of having more than what you need which is a really uh, I feel like that there is really an op great opportunity here for you uh, Virgo to <coughs> really get to a place of, of peace and stability so let's have a look and see what the other... I feel like I'm more picking up both sides of you here rather than another person, but let's take a look. 
Potential outcome for the other side here. Potential outcome for the other side. Okay. Two of Wands. So there's that choice again. Needing to make a bold, courageous choice with passion. Taking action with passion with that Knight of Wands. Courage. And we also have the Eight of Swords and the High Priestess. Okay. Again, I get the sense of like a trap. Some kind of trap. Perhaps in the past. But <clears throat> the Eight of Swords is, is speaks about restriction. But it's in your case, I feel it's more mental restriction. Something that's held you back in some form or another. Could be uh, um, negative thoughts. That inner narrative that we tell ourselves that's born out of fear. That, that does hold us back. And with the High Priestess, <coughs> it, it's again, it's that wisdom. I, I see this as wisdom gained through personal experience. And it leading to that deep inner knowing to make a choice. And the choice is between keeping yourself trapped by that, that I get it as the things we tell ourselves that are very negative, that prevent us from taking a courageous action, that hold us back. Or making the choice to do something that comes from a place of deeper understanding. But again, it's that I, I get this energy of knowledge, yes, but it's knowledge that you've earned. I feel like you've earned this knowledge. It's really interesting energy that I'm picking up here. And, and I feel mainly in this case I'm speaking to someone who's single. I don't think this is another person. I think this is both sides of you, Virgo. You're really working on powerful personal transformation. And I see deep, a real, a real desire to bring about this, this change in your life, which brings about a wonderful stability. Getting to this place of wholeness, of abundance. It's more you. I don't think it's anyone around you, Virgo. I think it's you. For a while, I think you've been stumbling about. You know, I see this figure with cloak and concealment walking around cloaked in the woods here. And, and, and there's that element of you that may have been stumbling around, not seeing the whole thing, not seeing the whole picture. But I do feel like there's something you've experienced of late which has brought about that last piece of the the jigsaw puzzle and things and now you're seeing it all things are whole you see the whole picture now so we'll see where this goes in part two lots to clarify i hope that you join me there the link will be below in the descriptions box and that will be on my vimeo channel if i don't see you there then i wish you all the very best with this and I'll be back very soon for your uh, mid-February general reading. So I hope that you uh, join me for that. So bye for now, Virgo. I'll see you soon.